Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm going to go on here on my video to make sure I can see your comments. But if you guys are here, I'm assuming, well, I shouldn't assume, but that you guys at least watched one of the prior parts of this series. It's the three V's to success and that equals energy. So basically we're trying to protect our energy bubble. And like I said, in the last one, you don't have to watch those two to get something out of this video or this live training, but it would be cool. It would be good for you if you did go back and watch those, if you did it. So let me get you on here first so that I could see all your comments. If you have any comments to make, to see who, who it is or who you are that's making the comments. So how, how are all of you today? Happy Friday, TGIF, right? If you guys are popping on here, please say hello. I would love to chat. If you guys are watching this on replay, please say hashtag watched. That way I knew you are watching it or you watched it. And I want to just try to make this quick because I know it's Friday and you guys got plans, you know, I don't want to hold you up, but let's talk about the last two things. There were six things and today we're going to talk about number five and number six. So if it's your first time here on my page and we have never met, I'm Eileen Alvira. I'm here to inspire, motivate, educate entrepreneurs like you on how to use branding, automation, and just all around digital marketing to grow your business online. So Number five, number five, slow growth to no growth or no growth to slow growth. You know, when we're building our business, we build up expectations, right? Especially if we got recruited by a friend who said, guess what? You can make like tons of money uh, doing this or guess what? You take my product and you're going to lose a lot of weight fast, you know, things like that, right? So we get our hopes up and then we see that nothing's happening. We either get no growth or slow growth. Hey, Charmaine, how's it going? And we, it, it, it affects our energy. Like who has tried to lose weight out there and they thought, and you thought they could lose like two pounds in one week, let's say three pounds, make it a little bit out of reach, three or four pounds. And then it didn't happen. And you worked out every day for 45 minutes and you ate right and you drank a lot of water and you didn't lose the weight. That zaps your energy so fast. You just want to give up because you're like, okay, I tried everything. Didn't work. I'm just going to give up. Even though you only gave it a week. <laughs> so instead, you know, in when it comes to business, it's a little more tricky than that right? For me, if I did work out every day, if I did drink the water, if I did eat right, I would lose weight. I would lose two pounds, right? Two, three pounds, whatever, water weight, right? It's the same in your business. You show up for your business. You do what you need to do every day and make your business a priority. You are going to break through that no growth, slow growth thing that happens to you that 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 affects your energy okay create better daily habits i know we all have daily habits but they're not always good <laughs> so let's create better daily habits especially if you don't see any growth you got to look back and evaluate and say hmm what did i not do this week that i could do this week that'll help my business grow That'll help the needle move in my business. Change those daily habits. You know, just because you have a daily habit, a habit, it doesn't mean that it's got to stay like that, right? Tweak them, make them better. Do something every day to move the needle in your business. You know, a lot of times I, I, I you know, in the past, I would say, man, nothing has happened. My business is not growing. And then I look back and evaluate and I say, hmm, what did I do this week? to grow my business. And a lot of times I catch myself, I'm like, hmm, I didn't do enough. And I don't mean wait, work eight hours a day on your business, right? Just evaluate and see how much time are you really spending on your business and how much of that time is quality time. 
So you can, you can, you know, get past this no growth, slow growth, you know, just show up for your business, create daily habits, uh, better daily habits, and just be there. Show up. All right. Number six. This one's bad. Negativity. All right. Negativity will burst that energy bubble so fast you won't even know what happened. And you got, I mean, I know a lot of you will agree that there are a lot of negative negative things just lurking around you. And and when that negative thing comes a knocking, don't answer the door. Seriously. You know, before I used to thrive off this stuff, right? A lot of people do. They thrive off negativity because they just want something to talk about. It's the way gossip happens, right? That's totally negative. People start gossiping. They're like, oh, yeah. See what happened to Jane the other day, right? This is what happened. And it, and it becomes so fun to talk about it. But really, you're bringing negativity to you. When you are negative, you attract negative. So learn how to identify negativity so that when it approaches you or when it, you know, just attacks you, you know what to do. Because remember what we talked about, we are solutions oriented people. We need to find solutions so that anytime negativity comes approaching us, we let it happen maybe for a few seconds, let them complain. Maybe it's a person complaining about something, let them complain and then immediately start to find solutions or at least bring it to light. Like today, my husband called, actually, I called him for something and he was like down. I could tell by his voice, my oh boy, like I didn't even want to ask. I didn't even want to ask him, but he was like, I'm having a bad day. You know, it sucks. Like I'm losing money. Like, you know, this is his job. And I'm like, you know what? You preach that you're, you know, trying to not be negative. You're trying to manifest positivity. But here you are. Negative, complaining, energy is low. And you're bringing my energy down, buddy. <laughs> and so I was, I was like, you know what? Start. You got to turn around. You are going to create more negativity for yourself. So I'm going to hang up now <laughs> and you're going to turn around and change what you're feeling right now. You need to practice gratitude. Okay. Anytime there's negativity coming your way and you, something's happening to you. Remember, what if it's not happening to you? What if it's happening for you? And a good way to kind of identify that is to practice gratitude, right? You say, hmm, what am I grateful for today? And when you do that, you start seeing that when these things happen, they're happening for you so that you like, you give yourself the opportunity to be grateful. You give yourself the opportunity to turn it around. You give yourself the opportunity to not be negative and be positive and happy, and you will manifest happiness and positivity. Oh my gosh, that one is an important one. So I wanted to get that one out and learn how to identify when someone is radiating negativity because you got to either run <laughs> or if they're close to you, you can let them whine for 30 seconds. And if it's your friend, if it's your hubby, your wife, your downline, you can let them complain for 30 seconds and then help them find solutions and in the future, help them know how to find their own solutions, help them be solutions oriented because you're not going to let anybody dim your light. You're not going to let anybody zap your energy because when energy goes down, so does your light. And that's not going to happen. We're not going to let that happen. All right. So that was quick and dirty. Hope you got some value. Smash some hearts if you got some value from that. If you weren't able to join the group yesterday when I, no, 
two days ago, my training, when I put the link down, I will put the link down again, join the training group. You'll get an extra training every week. You get a community of people who you can share ideas with, you know, shoot the breeze with, but we're all kind of, we're like-minded individuals in a group, a safe place, a safe space. And uh, we'll get some work done over there as well. So guys, have an amazing weekend. I hope you enjoy today, Friday. We're going to have karaoke tonight just to, you know, let go of some stress, right? But I want to go to go over and, and, and just mention the six things that we talked about so that if you do want to go back, which you should, if you didn't watch the first two installments of this series, you can go and find what we talked about. It was one, pain and frustration zaps your energy. Two, lack of knowledge zaps your energy. Three, inconsistency. Number four, being hypersensitive, okay, having a thin skin. Number five, no growth to slow growth. And number six, negativity. If you learn how to fight those six things, you are on your way to success in your business. And in life, you can apply all of this to life as well. And, you know, hopefully, Bring yourself up a level or two or three or four or five. So guys, have a great weekend. Be safe, be well, live abundantly. And I will see you guys again on my next video. Aloha.